Hey everyone, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Today I'm comparing this Topin D90 MQA with SMS SU9 deck. They both are high res DSD compatible and MQA available digital analog converter that you can buy. So overall noise performance and everything, they are very good, very reasonably priced and very high in price to performance quality ratio. So overall sound quality is only comes down to personal preferences. For me, I like warmish sound that closer to neutral. I do not like very warm sounding or very lean and very, uh, I would say cold sounding, very um, neutral, bit on the colder side. So I'm not really big fan of those kind of sound quality. So when I'm comparing these two decks, that's what I have in mind and I went through with uh, you know title uh, and then uh, Amazon uh, Ultra HD uh, streaming so based on those two streaming services and whatever the all the files that I have in my DSD and high-res collection. SMS uh, SU9 use, use the ESS uh, digital analog converter instead of uh, SI case AKM chip so Main digital analog converter chips are very different. So overall sound quality, this D90 MQA have a very neutral and very clean and very well refined sound with great resolution and very good uh, sound reproduction with great instrument separation. It's really good deck for the asking price. And this SU9 deck also offer very good engaging sound with a little bit warmish tint on overall sound signature, which is really great in my opinion. And musically, uh, for my favorite music and my listening habits and what I have, I prefer this SU9 for my taste, especially when I'm pairing with this uh, Aperion Audio Novas Towers, which is very neutral and very good mu musical sounding speaker that doesn't add a lot of coloration to your music. This speaker is also highly recommended. Very good musical sound for the asking price and very good bass performance for the size as well. So using this speaker and my uh, Wafte uh, Evo series and all my speakers. I tried three, four different speakers and I come down to this SU9 as the, uh, my preferred sound signature for overall price, performance, and sound quality that I get. But D90, in the other hand, is really good to have for that connectivity and is really good to have that uh, neutral sound. In my system, D90 will work better if I'm doing review. If I'm enjoying my music, I like SU9. So they both really good decks that you can have for each price point. I can totally enjoy both of them. I'm not saying which one is better or which one is lesser. So my main point is, if you are looking for good decks in this price point, each have a, its a uh, great offering for price to performance ratio. They both very good decks. Based on my experience, I slightly prefer SU9 sound quality over D94, that signature sound. So that's the difference between these two digital analog converter. They both very musical, very good sounding digital analog converters. Thank you for watching and happy listening.
soon.